Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is Monday, July 8th, 2019. My name is Nick Santiago. Thank you all for tuning in this morning. All right, taking a look at the S&P 500 E-mini futures. You'll see that they are trading lower by 6.5 points to 29.84 per contract. All in all, when you look at the futures, they did have a little bit of a sell-off on Friday. Then they rebounded back up. And now they're basically settling down just a touch here. But the markets have had a big run last week. So we'll give them the benefit of the doubt. We'll see how today plays out. Now for Monday, we don't have a lot of earnings in play right now. But we do have a lot of upgrades and downgrades and a lot of big movers. So let's get started there. The first one of the day is going to be Deutsche Bank. DB is the ticker symbol here. Stock is trading at $7.72, closed at $8.03 on Friday. They're doing a major restructuring. Any way you slice it or dice it, what can you say? Um, there looks like there's going to be 18,000 people laid off here. Uh, they're going to do a major restructuring. They're going to get rid of, I believe they're going to cut out their whole entire global equity sales and trading business. So again, they're going to shut that down. So this is definitely a big uh, news event. We'll see if it can save the company. When you look at the chart, stock has had a good run recently, but look at this monthly chart of Deutsche Bank. It has been absolutely slaughtered. And I'm going to roll this all the way back to 2007. And you're going to see that this stock was once around 140 bucks, now trading at $8 a share, and just off all-time lows. So again, nothing great for Deutsche Bank. Um, and they are doing a big, big restructuring. Right now, the stock is trading at $7.00. And 71 cents. I still have no interest in owning the stock at all. Next up, I want to take a look at Apple. Apple this morning, uh, I believe, getting a downgrade. So take a look at Apple here. You're going to see the stock is trading at 201.40, closed at 204.23. So a little downgrade there for Apple. That is trading a little bit lower. That will weigh on the NASDAQ initially. It also will weigh on the S&P and the Dow. So again, Apple affects everything these days. Now we have Boeing in the news this morning. That is trading lower to 350 spot 60. Uh, Boeing closed at $355.86 on Friday. So you got a decent $5 haircut in Boeing this morning. This is on the back of some news that uh, Saudi Arabia will be canceling a $5.9 billion order. So uh, again, uh, Boeing being plagued and affected by the 737 MAX. And um, <clears throat> that stock right now, uh, getting hit after Saudi Saudi Airlines uh, canceled a 5.9 billion dollar 737 Max order, and they went with Airbus. So again, Boeing is starting to lose um, some sales uh, because of this, and uh, we'll be hearing more about this going forward. Next up, I want to talk apply, about Applied Materials (AMAT). Looks like they were downgraded this morning. Stock is trading at 4309, closed at 4398. So. Good little haircut there for applied materials. Juniper also getting uh, a downgrade today, JNPR. So Juniper trading at 2645, stock closed at 2736. That's down almost a buck this morning. You have NTAP, NTAP, down on a downgrade. This is trading at $58.50, closed at 6240. That's a pretty good haircut for this stock. So again, we're seeing some pretty big movers. I'm going to be looking for levels in all of these this morning. Let's take a look at State Street, STT. Stock is trading at 55.28. This closed at 56.80. So that's getting a little haircut on the back of a downgrade as well. Last night, we have Chinese ADRs getting hit. I believe the Shanghai was down about 2.8% last night. That's a pretty big fall. Alibaba this morning, which is the leading Chinese IPO, uh, a leading Chinese ADR, I should say. Um, <clears throat> this stock is under pressure today. Closed at 173.30, now trading at 171.55. Briefly was trading a little bit lower, below 171. Has recovered some of that. Let's take a look at JD.com. JD uh, trading at $30.50. This closed at 31.03. Let's take a look at Weibo. This is trading at 43.25. This closed at 43.92. We'll do one more here. Uh, we'll go with Baidu, B-I-D-U. And you'll see this is trading at 1510, closed at 1629. So you got a little weakness in a lot of the Chinese ADRs, and we'll see how that plays out. 
they'll all be in play this morning. Next up, we want to take a look at the gold market. Gold getting a bid today. Now, gold has been very choppy lately, uh, at least over the last week from an overbought condition, but it is starting to work that off. If you take a look at the GLD this morning, that's trading at 132.47. Spot gold higher by $6.40 to 1406.60. So spot gold on the move. Let's take a look at crude oil this morning. Crude oil futures trading lower just by five cents to $57.46 a barrel. If you take a look at the USO, which is a good oil ETF to track the movement in crude. This is trading at 1191, closed at 1195. So no big move there, but um, you get the picture. Uh, oil down slightly, gold getting a little bit of a pop. Equities are mixed today. You have lots of downgrades out here. You also have the Chinese ADR is weaker. So we'll see what this market gives us. Once again, if you have not done so, come on over, take that seven day free trial to the intraday stock chat room. You can trade right alongside of us. We're having a Dynamite 2019. We're going to look to keep that going into the end of the year. And uh, we'll see what this market gives us today. With that being said, everybody have a great trading session. And we'll see you a little bit later on the charts.